Lisa, your guide in Mathematics 6. Are you ready? Get your mojo, paper, and pen. Welcome to Quarter 1, Week 6. Our lesson for this week is solving multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals. Our learning competency is solve multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Let's begin by reviewing our past lessons. Find the product of the given numbers. 100 times 8 hundredths. The answer is 8 ten thousandths. Next, we have 43 hundredths times 1 tenth. You are correct. The answer is 43 thousandths. Try this one. 5 and 24 hundredths times 100. The answer is 524. Next, we have 6 hundredths times 8 tenths. You're right! The answer is 48 thousandths. How about 9 hundredths times 9 hundredths? You're correct! The answer is 81 ten thousandths. This time, let us study and analyze the problem. Andy is a pupil who loves to explore in solving equations. Hmm. On the bulletin board in Mathematics 6, he saw a card with the equation 3 and 52 hundredths times 41 hundredths equals N. Can you help Andy to solve this? In helping Andy solve the problem, simply do the following steps. Step 1, write the equation in column. 3 and 52 hundredths is the multiplicand and 41 hundredths is the multiplier. Step 2, multiply 1 to all digits in the multiplicand from right to left to get the first partial product. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 3 equals 3. That's the first partial product. Step 3. Multiply 4 to all digits in the multiplicand to get the second partial product. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 5 equals 20 carry 2. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 2 equals 14. That is the second partial product. Step 4. Add the two partial products to get the final product. Then, place the decimal point correctly by counting the decimal places in the factors, multiplicand and multiplier. The counting will be from right to left. Let us add the partial products. Bring down 2. 5 plus 8 equals 13, carry 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Bring down 4. Bring down 1. Notice that in the multiplicand, there are two decimal places. In the multiplier, there are also two decimal places. So there are four decimal places all in all. Therefore, the final answer is 1 and 4,432 ten thousands. Let us try another example. Study the table and problem below. Blessy bought four notebooks, three ball pens, a roll of pad paper, and a clear book. 
If she handed a 500 peso bill to the cashier, how much change will she receive? Take note kids that a notebook costs 13 pesos and 25 centavos. One ball pen costs 9 pesos and 75 centavos. A roll of bad paper costs 23 pesos and 25 centavos. A clear book costs 45 pesos and 50 centavos. To solve the problem, do the following steps. First, understand. Second, plan. Third, solve. And fourth, check. To help you understand the problem, let us answer the following questions. Number one, what is ask? It is the amount of change Blessie will receive from her 500 peso bill. What are the given facts? Four notebooks at 13 pesos and 25 centavos each. Three ball pens at 9 pesos and 75 centavos each. One roll of bad paper at 23 pesos and 25 centavos. One clear book at 45 pesos and 50 centavos. And a 500 peso bill. What are hidden questions? What is the total cost of four notebooks? What is the total cost of three ball pens? How much is the total cost of all the items that Blassie bought? The processes to be used are multiplication, addition, and subtraction. The number sentence for the problem is 500 minus the quantity of 4 times 13 pesos and 25 centavos plus the quantity of 3 times 9 pesos and 75 centavos plus 23 pesos and 25 centavos plus 45 pesos and 50 centavos equals N. Let us now solve the problem. Let us first multiply 4 times 13 pesos and 25 centavos. The answer is 53 pesos. Next, let us multiply 3 times 9 pesos and 75 centavos. The answer is 29 pesos and 25 centavos. Next step, we will add 53 pesos, 29 pesos and 25 centavos, 23 pesos and 25 centavos, and 45 pesos and 50 centavos. The total cost of all items is 151 pesos. Then we will subtract 151 pesos from 500 pesos. 500 pesos minus 151 pesos equals 349 pesos. Therefore, kids, Blessie will receive a change of 349 pesos from her 500 peso bill. To check whether the answer is correct, add the total cost of all the items bought and the change received. The sum should be equal to the amount given to the cashier. 151 pesos plus 349 pesos is equal to 500 pesos. Therefore, our answer is correct. Remember this kids, in solving the problem, do the following steps. Understand, plan, solve, and check. Did you understand the lesson? If not, replay this video. If yes, just continue answering the activities in your module. Remember kids, keep on solving and you will keep on learning. Bye-bye!